Hi everyone, Sammy here. I'm finally back with a new video and sorry for not being active on YouTube lately but I've been so busy with finals and I just finished this week um, so the semester is finally over for me and now I have more time to film and like share reviews with you guys since I'm stress-free um, so let's get into the makeup stuff so today I'm gonna review the Beauty and Colourpop collaboration with Pony Park. For those of you who are not familiar with uh, her, she's a Korean makeup artist and she's also on YouTube. I love watching her videos because she like teaches you how to do makeup and she gives like tricks and tips on how to do it. And I feel like her videos are a bit different than the other like famous beauty gurus that are on YouTube right now. And she also had a collaboration with MAC Cosmetics but from that collab I only want to get the eyeshadow palette but it was sold out like within a day after the launch so I never got to buy it and when she announced this new collaboration I was like I need to get the eyeshadow palette anyway so this is why the packaging looks like it's very colorful and pink and it matches with my hair <laughs> so I'm gonna open it and here we have nine colors and let me take this off so you can see it better and like the names of the eyeshadows are listed on the back of the palette and I like the colors I feel like they're a good combination of like day and night colors so you can create looks that you can wear every day but also when you go to a party and I'm just going to do like a swatch on my hand so this is what they look like on my skin tone they're not very pigmented and also you can see like the glitters here they're not either I wish they were like more pigmented the glitters at least uh, but for today's video I'm just going to do like an everyday makeup look um, because I'm going to have lunch with one of my friends so I'm not gonna wear like a very intense makeup so I already prime my face I did like my skincare routine I put like face primer on eye primer on and then I put foundation so I'm gonna list in the description of this video the products I used for the base and now let's get into the eyeshadow I'm just gonna use oh before I start using that I like to start off by putting a white eyeshadow so it helps build the base and this one is from the VT cosmetics and BTS collaboration so I'm gonna use this brush I forgot the name of it I'm sorry just gonna take a bit and like put it on my Island. I'm trying to like figure out a way that you guys can see what I'm doing. Now I'll start off with Jelly Baby. I'm sorry, actually the names are listed on here as well. I guess I need glasses. So I'll start off with uh, Jelly Bean, which is, this, which is this color over here. And I'll add that in my crease, but also, sorry, my camera didn't focus for a second, but also on my eyelid. Okay, I like this. It's very creamy, but it's not super pigmented. So it's definitely great for a uh, day look. I mean, it depends on your personal preference. If you're someone who likes doing super pigmented uh, looks, even like during the day, that's perfectly fine.
Okay, and now I'll go with Gumdrop. So I'll use this um, eyeliner brush to apply the glitter. It's really hard to apply this because it doesn't really stay on the brush. But I think I got it. Applying this glitter is very messy. It doesn't stay in one place. Maybe I should have added concealer on my eyelid. Okay, and now, so this is what it looks like so far with the glitter, but I'll blend it out so it fits nicely. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of this glitter because see over here, like it moved up, it doesn't stay in place. And now I have it all over my eyelid. And now I'll go with Huba Buba. So this color over here in the crease, but I'll just put a bit, so I'll tap it on my hand if I feel like it's too much color. Yeah, you definitely don't have to put too much of this shade because it's very... This one is super pigmented, so you risk off having too much in the crease. And I'll use another brush to blend it out. So this is what it looks like so far. I still want to add more glitter over here, but it just doesn't stay in place and it kind of drives me crazy. So let's try again, but this time I'll use my finger. Not this one, because it has eyeshadow on it, this one. And it's my first time using a ColourPop eyeshadow palette. And now I think I put way too much, so I can never win. <laughs> okay, and okay, and I will do my eyeliner off camera. I use brown eyeliner in order to give a more of a natural look and now I'll do the rest on camera so I'll start off with uh, doing my brows I usually just fill them in because I like the shape of my eyebrows so I'm using this from Anastasia Beverly Hills and it's a medium brown You laugh at me, but <laughs> the brush from this product broke and I only have this left. So I use it to <laughs> fix my brows when I fill them in. So now that I'm done with my brows, I'll use setting powder in order to make sure that everything stays in place. And 
actually it's my first time using this one from Innisfree I'm opening now because I just finished the one from Benefit Cosmetics yesterday so it's this one it's the matte mineral setting powder and it comes with a puff and it's translucent oh this is really nice and it has a nice smell to it too I don't bake so I just put setting powder on because I wear makeup for like long hours I don't wear makeup only for like two or four hours and I'm kind of a lazy person I don't like to bring with me like a makeup pouch and have like my cushion foundation and even when I bring my lipstick with me I always forget to reapply lipstick so that's why I prefer setting powder because everything will stay in place so I'll just use the jelly baby okay I need to use another brush because this one is full of glitter even though I didn't use it to apply it but this glitter gets everywhere so this is one thing I don't like about this palette add white in my inner corner in order to make me look more awake And we'll also put a bit under my brows. Oh, and I use this a white from Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Soft Glam Palette, because the one from Beauty Cosmetics is not as pigmented as this one. So it's this one from Urban Decay Troublemaker. Oh my god this glitter is all over my face you can't really see it on camera but I can like here it, it it's so obvious I'll go with a pink blush because I think it will go with the eyeshadow I'm wearing and I'm gonna use this one the cloud pink from Glossier um it's it's called puff so that's the name of the shade looks like this this is like one of the few or if not only product that i like from that brand of my highlighter and I'm gonna use the one from the Cara Ferrani and Lancome collection and I'm gonna use this one over here and I'll apply it with the highlight uh, brush from Fenty Beauty which is my favorite one because it makes applying so much easier nose okay and now I'll apply the lipstick I always do this last so before I apply the lipstick I apply lip balm to keep my lips hydrated especially now that it's winter outside and it's super cold This is the one from Kaja Beauty and it's the shade, what's the name of the shade for this one? Honey Bun.
So this is the final makeup look and now I have to do the beauty guru pose. So I'll close my eyes and show you guys and then I'll turn like this. Uh, but overall, I really like the palette besides the glitter thing. The shadows blend really well and I also like the combination that you can create different looks using those colors. So I guess I'll see you next time.